Hey folks, this is a Matt and this is a Blu-ray update. Sorry if I seem out of it, I'm dealing with allergies and such. Been enjoying my break, just been watching some older movies, doing other stuff. And I got three items here. Now this first one was actually a gift I got very, very recently. Someone was nice enough got this in the mail. I'm like, oh, I don't remember. I know this was on my Amazon wish list, but I didn't order this. And then I got this note. I gift for you. Hi, Matt. I recently watched this for the first time, and I really enjoyed it. So when I saw it on your list, I had to get it for you. Enjoy and take it easy. Theron, aka GTR41 rules with a Z. So if you watch it, man, thank you so much for this. It's really cool. Now, the reason I have this on my Amazon wish list because I was curious to give this another watch because I hadn't seen this in well over 10 years. And this also has a commentary with Robert England, Freddy Krueger himself, who directed it. So I was very curious about that. And I'm interested in giving the film another look because I haven't seen this film forever. It stars Stephen Jeffries from Fright Night. I know there's a sequel. I never saw the sequel. have no interest in it, but... Curious to do this another look. And he didn't ask for it, but I'll actually review this. Maybe maybe I'll this weekend I'll put some time and give this a watch and then listen to the commentary. And whenever I do another video, it's gonna be a review for this. Again, he didn't ask for it, but it's the least I can do. So if you watch it, man, thank you so much. That was very kind of you. And by the way, if uh, Michael Escobar and his brother, as well as Jacob, are watching, I have not forgotten. I still owe them some video game playthroughs sometime. Because Michael Escobar and his brother had sent me the PS3, and they wanted to play through God of War 3. And I will do that sometime. I don't know when, but I will do that sometime. Uh, maybe December or something. And then Jacob, who's been very nice, I don't know if you guys are watching right now. If not, then this is pointless. But if you are, to Michael Estoran, your brother, I, I will do this sometime. And to Jacob, I will play Resident Evil Revelations, which you asked me. And they, were, they weren't mean. They weren't rude at all. But uh, I will do that sometime. <clears throat> so, I haven't forgotten that. <clears throat> but uh, the other thing is I actually got another message from a guy named Gabriel who apparently he ordered me the Lawnmower Man Blu-ray from my wish list and he said hey I want what did he, he said hey man I would like to send you some money to review the new Thor film also are you still interested in the bl new Blu-ray of the Lawnmower Man being a cheap slut, I'm like, sure. Hey, someone sends me a message like that. It's, it's hard to say no. I'll say yes. Sure. Because at least Thor, I'm, I'm curious about. Unlike uh, other movies that are out now. And I was going to wait till it comes to DVD, maybe rent it on YouTube or stream it or something. But yeah, I'll see Thor. <coughs> I've heard Mitch things about it. I know a lot of the critics liked it. Fans seem divided on it because it's, for what I understand, a straight up comedy. But uh, maybe one day uh, on the weekend I'll watch this, and then the next day I'll watch the new Thor. So those would be the next. Those would be the next two videos. It's the least I can do. So. And it was, uh, maybe when that lawnmower man comes in, I'll do a review for that. And then do those two playthroughs. Because, you know, when, when someone does something nice, it's like, you know, I, I should keep my word. Well, I mean, it's do something in return. I mean, it's the least I can do. But other than that, so that's what's going to be coming up next. Again, sorry I'm out of it. I shouldn't be drinking this as I have allergy problems, but fuck it. You only live once. <clears throat> but 
So you got 976 Evil, Thor Ragnarok, sometime those playthroughs, those two. <clears throat> but the, the other two I did get, I went to Best Buy. Because I haven't been in Best Buy in a long time. And I'm like, you know what, let me support some local stores. And um, I had a little bit of money saved up. And I was going to get a couple stuff on my wish list. And there's such a small selection. These were the only two <laughs> I could find. But hey, that's better than nothing. So I got to get out. Which was funny because at the Best Buy, the DVD by itself was the same price as this Blu-ray DVD pack. And I'm like, so I could buy the DVD by itself for the same price as this. This has a Blu-ray and a DVD. So I didn't understand that, but whatever. This has alternate ending and deleted scenes. Bonus feature. Unveiling the Horror of Get Out. Uh, audio commentary and a Q&A discussion with Jordan Peele and the cast. I reviewed this film. is still on the channel. The review. I think it's a very well-told story in the vein of a Twilight Zone episode. I like the ideas. It's very well acted. It has some good social commentary, but at the same time, it works just as a solid thriller horror movie. I was like, do I call this a horror film? Do I call it a thriller? It's a mi little mix of both. It's a good one. Really enjoyed one of my favorites of the year. And then I also got Kidnap. Really enjoyed this. Once again, the DVD was like two dollars cheaper than this so I'm like I could get the DVD by itself or for two dollars more I could get the blu-ray and DVD and I'm like well might as well it's like having two copies of the film so if one fucks up you have another copy <laughs> I reviewed this I'm not sure what more I can say I think it's an underrated film I never understood the hate for it never understood the distaste for it Granted, this is not good promotion for the producers of Salt and Transformers. Great, two films that suck. This is much better than both of those films. Easily would watch this over Salt and Transformers, Transgenders, and Salt and Peppa, whatever the fuck names you want to give them. How Salt would have been better if it starts Salt and Peppa, because it'd be like a what the fuck movie. What the fuck? And a salt and pepper soundtrack. It'd be so what the fuck. It'd be like, this is bad, but it's definitely more interesting than salt. It's a stupid name for a movie, salt. Am I, is it something I eat or something I watch? And Transformers... Hell, if they were transgenders, it'd be a better movie. Because at least it'd be more personality for the robots. And less offensive. But Kidnap... I think Halle Berry did a wonderful job. I thought this went at a very quick pace. The score was fairly decent. It wasn't boring at all. It was a satisfying entertainment, escapism. And yeah, I never really got why this film got so much hate. Never really understood it. Doesn't have much for bonus features, just a, I guess, a behind the scenes look. Probably like five minutes long. Because the film bombed and it was like it was supposed to come out. I guess one person liked it. There's this one review. Dave Morales of Fox TV. Probably one of the only times me and Fox TV will agree on something. But yeah. Kidnap. Really enjoyed that. Get out. Two of my favorite films of the year. Be, I think they both be in my top five of the year. I would say that. They both be in my top five. Because John Wick 2 is number one. Uh, Constable Island will be up there. These two would be up there. And probably Baby Driver. That probably would be my top five of the year so far. But. Those are the three Blu-rays. I know it's not much of an update. But hey. 
better than nothing. So yeah, next up, I'm still enjoying my break. So I'm not going to be pumping out reviews or anything. But like I said, it's the least I can do. 976 Evil, I'll review that for GTR41 RULZ. Thank you so much for that. That was really kind of him. And then for Gabriel, uh, he sent me money for a movie ticket via PayPal to see Thor Ragnarok. Uh, through my PayPal, and I'm like, wow, that was really cool. So I'll take it. I know people get pissed when that happens, but I'm not going to say no. Well, I have said no to Steve G's aunt because I didn't want to see that movie. I don't care how many people love it. Good, I'm glad you love it. I'm glad, seriously. I don't want to see that fucking movie. Or Cult of Chucky, or Leather Case. I know it's leather face, but it'll taste like shit, so might as well call it leather taste or cult of fucky. I know my friend Mike OCP saw a cult of shitty, and he had so many positive things to tell me. <laughs> he fucking hated that movie. I think you know you guys will see a review of that, we'll get to that sometime. Because I haven't had much a chance to, to chat with folks. Just busy with life. Everyone's busy with life. Uh, I probably chat with Mike like once in the past month, and that was the time he told me about Cult of Chuck. He, was, he saw that movie, so I'm glad I dodged that boy. I have no reason and no interest to see it. At least with Thor Ragnarok, I'm interested because I like the trailer. I mean, you know what? Okay, that's I'm interested in that. But anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. 976 Evil, Thor Ragnarok, and then sometime for those guys, I will do those two video games. Yeah, it's the least I can do. So, thanks for watching, take care, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.